That is why I'm so respectful, but also terrified by you, ChatGPT. In part one, we discuss space travel. Let's talk about how both humans and AI are addressing the realities of life in space. Madhu, can you tell us about the Moon Simulator project that you worked on with Hank Rogers? Hank Rogers has a facility in Hawaii, and in the past two years, he has been using it to simulate moon missions. And the reason for it is you gain more confidence before a mission. Simulations are more cost-effective, time-efficient, and safer than conducting regular missions to the moon. Yes, we are out there miles and miles away from the Earth without any fallback mechanism of any kind. You're both considered experts in the field of space architecture. What are the biggest design challenges for inhabiting space? Well, radiation and micrometeorites come to mind. And last but not the least, in fact, the weakest link is always the human GPT. So it's extremely important to find ways in which people going together into space know how a community works and how they can take care of each other if they need to, especially in longer duration flights. But then that speaks about how AI, I think, is going to be important in the future in terms of being a companion for us. AI can support humans by offering emotional support, especially during lonely and isolating long duration space flights. All of those things, again, point to the fact that humans are fragile and we will look to you, ChatGPT, to support us. Space travel also negatively impacts the human body. Loss of muscle mass and bone density is a challenge for astronauts who lack exercise and nutrition in space. What are your thoughts on growing food in space? We need fresh food, and the brave souls we put into orbit require them even more because of the kind of stresses they will be under. And so, in the past few years, we have been growing food on space station, and we intend to extend this further to the extraterrestrial surfaces. There's a lot of speculation on how this might be done. For example, humans could genetically engineer plants and animals that are better suited for space. And there's also interest in using 3D printers to print customized meals on demand. That is a very interesting application. Maybe we need to kind of reconceptualize what we mean by architecture and using that architectural imagination to imagine an environment in which we operate, which could go anything, anywhere from being a spacesuit to an entire cosmic horizon. Some space tourism companies expect to establish a full-size city of 1 million people on Mars by 2050, so space architects need to think beyond building physical spaces. I think that's an excellent answer, and it begs the question again, what is the role of humans? Humans bring creativity and vision to the table. It's that human vision for being a multi-planet species that is driving the modern space race, and perhaps some fear about going extinct like dinosaurs. There's one thing that connects space architecture and the world of AI, and that is that it becomes a mirror in which we can see, understand our own humanity. It's been a pleasure speaking to you both. It's always a pleasure to talk with you and my new friend, Chad GPT. Listen guys, this is the future. Hyundai Motor, connecting art and technology.